You know this Lutu 119. Like and subscribe, you do, you do. Right here, I have a very, 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 my godfather right here. You know you're doing this thing. Tell them who you are so these people can know what's going, who you are and what you represent. Scott Liberace. Liberace. Y'all heard that? Liberace. And if y'all know who Liberace was, he was a very, very famous, very entertainment person. He was very famous. And what year was that he was famous in? Through 1950 to 87. And he was a very, 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 uh, very talented. He dressed nice. He lived nice. He was all that he could be. He was, he was the man. Yeah. And... What was your part in it with Liberace? What was the, what were the I'm not things? Sure. I guess I was his son and lover. <laughs> so crazy, I lived a crazy life. And what was the movie that they? What was your documentary movie that was out? Behind in? the Candelabra, my life with Liberace by and Matt Damon and Michael Douglas. Mac, look, look at that, Matt Damon, yeah. and Michael Douglas played in his movies, and that movie is really good. Repeat what it was again. Yeah, Matt Damon, Michael Douglas, Behind the Candelabra. You guys gotta watch that movie. It was good from beginning to the end. I liked it. He's been through so much in your life. What have you learned in the entertainment field? What is it? What has it taught you? I love it. I, it's always exciting. You know, just you gotta take the punches with the good. I mean, it's, it's it's. I love it. It's been good. Hollywood's been good to me. Vegas has been good to me. You know, it's fun. What type of people have you met in that industry and people that you good, know? Good, bad. I mean, you know, you get you meet all types of people. Times. Even Michael Jackson was a good friend yeah, of Michael his. Yeah, Michael was my buddy. Was his buddy. He knew a lot of those yeah. people in that in that Lena life. Lena Horn. Lena Horn, Paris, all those people. Paris, yeah, everybody, yeah. He's a guy, and you know what? And he's a very, very good person. He's my godfather. Is a very strong man. You know, he's he's good, and he's you know he's genuine and he's real. And one thing about him, he loves he loves black people. That's right. He's for the black people. If he was, pre vote him for president. <laughs> if you voted him for president, things would, things would, things would be changed in yes, the world. Right. This is the president that we should have right yes, here. Right. On all the presidents, we had this president right here. We, we'd be good right now. We had, we had him as the president, y'all. Y'all don't hear me though. But you know what? So talk, let's talk about how did it feel when you were living in a, in your mansions? Well, you know, he already, you know, I don't put his business out there. He already, well, the I love, man. Yeah, I love, I love. Well, Liberace, I'm saying, how was it with the, in, in the mansions and the cars and the, all the, all the famous things? It was fun. Well, you know, from being a, uh, an orphan and 17 foster homes and then all of a sudden thrown into that wealth and, and uh, it was, I mean, he was somebody that first loved me, cared for me. And um, it was it was fun. It was exciting. And what did you learn out of what did you learn? Because you were on stage with Liberace when he brought the car and wanted to send the movie. Yeah. And everything. How did that moment make you feel? All those people and you're on stage and you're with them well, rocking. Well, when you're with such a huge legend like that, you know, you, you kind of sit back and say, "Oh my God!" You know, out of all the people in the world, he picked me. Can you, you all know? hear that? All the people in the world, he you picked know, and, him. And I felt honored. And. Um, yeah, I was, yeah, there was, I had a, a, a hate-love relationship with him, I think. You know? And what do you think the hate was? I think the hate was that he was never happy on how I looked. You know? He wanted me to look like him. So you went, my face changed. So you got the surgery, and after you, so now you're taking away how you look. How did that make you feel now you're going to look just like Liberace? Because you look like Liberace. Do I? Identical. I, I don't think. I, I, a little bit. A little bit, but you could see everything. If you know, if Liberace was standing here, they would be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, okay." They they could see the resemblance that they know. Look up, look up Liberace, and you'll see who we're talking about, and you're gonna be like, "Wow." Wow. <laughs> but you know, like like what well, my godfather, you know, he like my father. You know what I'm saying? He my dad. So if we got a team of people. We make sure he's okay and he's good in life, and we make sure that you know he's okay and he ain't got to never feel lonely in this world no. or never feel anything because we all here for him you know us the team us that's how we rock that's how we do it and you never know in the world what is going on and one thing i can say about him he's always keep his soul 100. Right. he's he's always real with himself and he's genuine so when you were on stage I'm, and you were in that uh, on stage because you know Matt Damon for uh, you know to, to play the role in the movie because we're because I want him to do a movie but I can't tell you guys the name of it 
because he can make it happen and get it done. And we're negotiating now because I, I want I feel like this movie should be out and about. He's already been on uh what's a lot of things that you've been interviewed on? What was your last interview at? Um what, what, oh, what, I've, what I've done so many interviews of Entertainment Tonight that today showed Good Morning America, uh Howard Stern's the Joyce Behar show, uh, The View. And what are you? What are you going to have coming out now? What are you doing, I'm, working I'm, on next I'm, year? We're doing. We're doing the the Wonderland Killings. Oh, okay. The Wonderland Killings. Y'all hear that? That is a yeah. true documentary. Another one. Part and of my life, my um, mafia life. <laughs> and uh, he he has adrenaline for the. He's a gangster. I love being a gangster. I, at heart, that's what I was. And he still is. Look, he could talk like this. You would never know. He could switch up on you. <laughs> he could switch up on you. That's one thing he can do. He'll roll with, he rolls with it. And you see, you see we got by our side, you know, OG over here, triple platinum right here. That's how we get down. But one thing we don't do. Hey, sir. You never got a flow show and do all that. You Because you never know who people know, what's going on. You ain't got to, you know, you just be happy in this world like I was telling you. You know, so it's like what you got to do is. Let's go in Campbell. You got to understand. Oh, no, he doesn't. He, no, we don't want We're going to keep it here. We don't want a valley because they're, they're going to come back out. No, he said we can keep it here. He'll where should go where you wanted to go? Where's you know that? where you wanted to go at? Uh, to the place where you say you're lucky. Oh, yeah. go where you're well, lucky at. We're lucky in there, too, sometimes. Yeah, oh, yeah. We'll just wait for him to come out because you know, you know, you know who we talking about. Look. Yeah. Lord, look, Gangsta Lean. Look, here they come. See? Well, anyway, this is only part one of the interview. We're going to go back to part two where we're going to be sitting down and change the scenery because right now we're just on a little mission right now doing our thing. We're about to gamble, have some fun. You know this Gucci 119. Anybody want to give a shout out to? Uh, just peace to the world. We love you. Love to everybody. Amen. 